okay now let's go to the visual studio and let's start programming our port now before you start you have to go to the file new and go to project and you can select I'm going to use visual studio C sharp so you have to use uh, C sharp and uh, you select the windows form application and give a appropriate name I give <coughs> this is as the port programming so I create this uh, the form uh, before we going to program any codes we have to uh, insert our uh, dll file to our uh, program so go to the solution explorer and right click on it and go to the add and select new item and from there you can find uh, a class so give it any name i just leave it this like this and uh, press the add button and you can uh, um, directly go to the uh, class file so I am going to remove this uh, class name and we have to use uh, our using uh, system dot uh, sorry not out uh, runtime dot uh, inter interrupt services by this we can add our dll file to our program i am going to create a public class uh, public class uh, give uh, any appropriate name for this i am going to uh, name it as port access so now here we can uh, import our dll file and uh, give what are the methods that we are going to use in here so i'm now first going to import our dll file uh, dll import by this method we can import any dll file to our uh, programming codes and you can see there are two types of method that just we can give the string name or we can uh, we can give the string name and the name parameters i am using the second one the name parameter and uh, our uh, dll name is inp out 32 dot dll um, and we have to use another uh, parameter it is called the entry point here it is entry point is equal to uh, out sorry out 32 okay now we create an uh <coughs> now we create and import our dll that we have download i think you have know how to do it because in the first part one we describe how to download this dll from the website and uh, use it in our system 32 environment and we have to import that dll uh, now we can uh, give uh, any uh, methods in our uh, program so i'm going to create a public static public static extern void method and i'm going to use this as output uh, because uh, in this section we are only talking about how to uh, flash a led so we need only to output the uh, things and here we can uh, use our uh, address and uh, int address it means what is the port that you are going to use if you use uh, 378 it means that uh, the data uh, register is used so you can output the uh, uh, appropriate things to the pins and in the next thing is that we have to use this uh, integer pin number uh, as i said earlier the pin number is what is that there are eight pins in our data pin data register sorry then we can use any uh, data
data beans from there to uh, access our class so it's okay now now it is done let's go to the designing part and in the designing part uh, I'm going to uh, give uh, Eight checkbox Okay, and I'm going to rename 